So this is a brand new product from a company called Domestic Automation, and to my knowledge there is nothing currently being sold like this on Amazon that essentially turns the entire WLED setup process into a simple plug and play solution that can be set up in less than 45 seconds. I'll get into more of the details of the board later, but right now I want to show you the most exciting part which is how easy it is to get up and running. First you need lights. I'll be using some WS2812B strips I had left over from a previous project that I'll be attaching to the board via the already installed connector clip it comes with. Next, take your power supply and plug it into the barrel terminal. I'll be using a 5 volt 15 amp unit for this. And since WLED comes pre-installed, you should now see 30 LEDs lit up on your strip and we're almost done. The last step is to either on your phone or PC scan for available Wi-Fi and connect to the WLED-AP network. It should automatically open a page that looks like this, but if it doesn't, just open a web browser and type in 4.3.2.1 and hit enter and it should pull up the same thing. From here, click on Wi-Fi settings and you can either scan to find your available networks or if you know the name, you can just type it in. Next, put in your Wi-Fi password and then further down, I'm going to change this to something a little easier for me to remember and then click save and connect. Now open a new browser tab and put in what we just entered, which is going to be WLED.local and it should pull up our main homepage. Click the configure button near the top and then into LED preferences. I know the strip I have connected right now has 200 LEDs, so that's what I'll put in the length field. Then further up, I'm going to change my brightness limiter to 5000 milliamps, which is less than what my power supply can handle, but definitely bright enough for the projects I do. And finally hit the save button and you're officially all set up. So if you're now curious on how to control the LED lights using this amazing WLED program, I already made a video that walks you through the basic functionality as well as some of my favorite settings that you can watch if interested. Now that we've gone over how easy it is to get things set up, I wanted to go a little bit deeper into the few additional features they've added to the board. First off, there's an onboard 10 amp power fuse, so if you're worried about safety, this is a great addition to have. Second is an onboard relay. Now when LEDs are turned off, they still continue to draw a little bit of power, so if you're energy conscious, having this relay to truly cut off power to all lights is a nice bonus. They also included an onboard sacrificial pixel. They're using this to boost the data signal so that if you need to put the beginning of your LED strip far away from the controller, your data signal will be able to travel the distance without diminishing to the point where your LED strip will not operate correctly. And if you don't want this LED to actually light up during operation, just go into LED preferences and next to the skip first LED, change the value from 0 to 1. And as far as power injection, they have this block built in which allows you to tap into your main power supply and run additional wires to your LED strip if power injection is needed. And finally, what I'm super excited to try out is a motion sensor and button module that they sell separately which can be plugged directly into this port. I'll be doing a follow-up video shortly on this to see how they work. Now this board is designed to work specifically with the 5 volt WS2812B or 5 volt WS2811 LED strips, so make sure you're only using those types. Also, it's using an ESP8266 module, so the max number of LEDs that WLED recommends is 512, but I know I've used up to around 1000 pixels before and have been happy with the performance. And they also offer a different variation of the same product that has an external Wi-Fi antenna that can for sure come in handy in certain situations. So a couple more things I wanted to bring up is that if you wanted to max things out, I would recommend using a 5 volt 15 amp power supply, but because we have the 10 amp fuse on board, I would make sure to set the brightness limiter to around 9500 milliamps. And by using the 15 amp supply and setting the limiter to under 10, we'll ensure that the power unit is not being overworked. And finally, if for some reason you want to perform a factory reset of WLED, after things reboot and you go through the initial setup steps again, go back into LED preferences and make sure that the GPIO number is still set to 2, and further down, make sure the relay GPIO is set to 12 and that the box next to invert is checked. These also come with a plastic mounting bracket that you can either use screws or 3M tape to secure to wherever you want them installed. The board itself slides into the grooves for a secure fit. This is nothing revolutionary, but it's a nice option to have available. So that about wraps things up. I'll leave links in the description to everything I went over in the video. I have no idea what their inventory levels are, but hopefully they have a good stock because this really is a great product and once word gets out, I have a feeling they're going to sell a lot of these. I'll leave you with a quick speed run of me getting this set up from scratch in under 45 seconds since that is what I claim could be done at the beginning of the video. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you have a blessed day.